Well, good morning from the Mayport Boat Ramp. It's July 3rd, and it's not too bad. Sunday, July 3rd. I guess everybody burned their wick out yesterday. Because it's about six something in the morning. The sun is just coming up. And you know what? Here's a clue for you. I come down here and I'm here early and everything. And I always like to bounce a lure around. Around the docks. I think this boat ramp, or maybe it's just Jacksonville, that there is not a single fish other than catfish that hang around this boat ramp in the summer. Every once in a while, a school of Jack Cavalls will go by. And years and years ago, standing right on the dock that I'm tied to, I threw something in right off the end of the dock and I caught a pompano. But you could literally come down here and waste your life looking to try to catch a fish. Now I'm using lures. I'm not using bait. Pick up a flounder, something. Blue fish. Oh, I did get one. I did get one here. Finally. Some little dude. Yep. As usual, a kitty cat. A kitty cat. God, I hate these things. Alright. Well, I caught that kitty cat. Let me, let me grab him here. Oh, yeah, I just said, you know, you can catch kitty cats down here. Oop. Look at this. Ah. Yeah. That that's the reason we hate them. That thing just stabbed me in the leg. That's the reason we hate them. Oh god. God did that hurt. Oh that sound bitch is gonna die. Ah. Ah. That's why we don't mess with them. I gotta get some peroxide out. I just got stabbed by a catfish in the leg. You got what? I got stabbed by a catfish in the leg. Yeah, right here. I caught one and he flew off the hook and stabbed me. It was hanging by his pectoral fin off my leg. Good God, I hate them son of a bitches. Oh my God, very, very painful. I guess, I haven't messed with them much. Yeah, I've been taking a lot of kids. Yeah, it's got all kinds of vents on it. Yeah, it's my 4th of July cover. I got my flags up here too. I'm very patriotic. <laughs> Whew. Man, that hurt. That's that makes for good TV. Look at this goddamn assholes. Okay, here they come. Well, that was totally unplanned. 
That's the reason I tell customers, do not get nowhere near them, son of a bitches. Oh my God, the pain. It was hanging by its pectoral fin from my leg, my thigh. Yep. Oh. You better get, and you better get alcohol on it or something right away. Oh. Because those things are covered in bacteria. I've had it where one went through my a rubber boot and the next day I could not put that I could not put a shoe on my foot blew up so bad ah uh, well there you go learn a lesson there kids oh man now it's like aching oh All right, well, as I said, there never seems to be any decent fish around any boat ramp around here. At least not this one. Which is, you know, you think very uncommon for, for Florida. But welcome to Bizarro World. I mean, yeah, flounder stack up in here, but only a certain time of year. Okay. That's it. Morning lessons. Shark attack! Shark attack! Beep, boop, beep, boop. Doing video. Everybody says, oh man, there's some fishing videos. And I go, you mean you want to see six-year-old fishing? <laughs> I wanted it. Okay, right when he's in the boat here, you gotta really make sure he don't go to the front. Because he's gonna want he, he, they love going to that anchor. They love going to the anchor line. Okay. And he's gonna be right here. I can look. Hopefully as he turns. Okay. Like a chess match. You gotta be thinking. You gotta be thinking where he's gonna go next. He's trying to go. Right. Now he ain't gonna be done. He's not that strong. Shit. Real, real on down. There you go. All right. Okay, reel all the way down right here. And just hold it a second. Lift nice and slowly. Keep the pressure on him. Because you can't, we cannot let him go up there. Here comes your leader. There he is. There he is. Okay, control him. Stay in control. Just see he's done. Stay in he's done. Big old black tip, ate a croaker, standard operating procedure. My man's getting, my man's getting his butt handed to him. Come on. All right, there he is, right there. But he ain't done. They ain't done until they kind of flip over a little bit. They give me that sign. Okay, reel all the way down. Reel, reel, reel down. Okay, right there. You have the most control when you're out in front of your own body and down by the water. Okay, let him. He's gonna circle around again. <laughs> Woo! Okay, there goes the old sunglasses get wet. <laughs> What do you think of that? Did you see it yet? I just got yeah. yeah. That's, 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 that, that thing eats well. kids it's for a living. It's Bella. No, I actually, he eats croakers for a living. Look, okay, all the way I down. have a swimsuit. So if I get wet, I'm cold. Oh, look, come here. Hurry. There he is again, Ella. Come here. There he is. No, don't flush me. Come here. Ella, come on. Oh, be ready for him to freak out. Let the dogs out. <laughs> yep. 
That didn't take but, I don't know, five minutes. on his back, shark suckers. Out. So, what do you think? Good to go. Ready for ready for number two, three, four, five. You want me bringing another one? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe That's one more time. Best. All right. Well, we'll let you rest a little bit. Okay. Catch yeah. a couple more croakers, and then we'll do another video. What if we saw shark? That works. It, 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 it warms you right up yeah, if, you, if you're a little chilly. She's got the shark book out here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see the shark book. Look at I have some informed fishermen on my boat. Look at this. Well, that is a black tip reef shark. So they're a little bit different. Tiger sharks. Oh, I've, I've, I've caught tigers. Oh, really? I mean, what you do is you got to look through here and see if there's. Oh, lemons, they're kind of, they're a little bit common. And see if there's just plain black tips, threshers. Oh, man, I've seen these before out offshore. Um, just plain black tips. Those reef sharks, yeah, they're they're more out in the way out in the ocean. That's the ocean, yeah. <laughs> You're in the ocean right now. All right, till the next one. All right, now we got a shark on the little light rods we're catching croakers on. All right, let me see if you're getting any line. No, no. Let me tighten that drag up a little bit. Okay. Now you on this, you're just gonna have to lift and just reel down. Don't go up too high, but just keep. That rod tip bent. All right, wrong tackle, right fish. Well, sharks ain't fish. You know, sharks are sharks. Yeah. Okay. And they think I, I had a feeling this might happen. Because as, just as I said, we're throwing those croakers over. Yeah. And guess who's down underneath the boat looking at that? The man in the brown I suit. <laughs> All right, wrong rod. He said not to go that high, Dad. And see, I can't, I don't have no giant stainless steel leader to grab and release this one. Yeah. Usually it's just, he's just going to bust everything. Probably when you get flopped at the top, if I get him there, he's yeah. going to bust. Yeah. They probably get him looking I'm going to tell my mommy if I eat it. 
at least get a look at him and see how big he is. Yeah, I don't. I don't oh, think, yeah, he's I don't, not too bad. Oh, that's Bonnet Head. Oh, yeah. Oh, you hooked him. You foul hooked him. Oh, he just ran with it. I don't even think he's hooked in the mouth. That's a hammerhead. Yeah, we call them bonnet heads because they're a little bit different. Yeah. Okay, let me get on in here like and see if I can do something with them. Okay. Yeah, I can tell you what the other yeah. One, but, he's still but they still fight. put up one heck of a fight. I got a say in for that, which you just caught. Since we call them bonnet, they're called that's bonnet heads. It. It's like that old blue bonnet butter commercial. Oh, yeah. I always say, everything's yeah, better with a brown it. bonnet on it. <laughs> name it only one See, fish. we did hey, get to get a small shark. Like now we even need a smaller one because yeah. even that one was pretty tough. Yeah, I don't know how All right, it's 931. The catfish hit my leg at 6.30. And guess what? The pain is finally gone. Three hours of throbbing pain in my leg. Do not let the catfish swing off the hook and stab you in the leg. Moral to this story. <laughs>